Good morning. I've been keeping that fire stoked all night. Without it, the house is as cold as a fridge. Got a text just from Dan now saying, got a headache this morning, energy is low, pulling the pin. So he's not coming, bugger. I know the feeling. Uh, what else? Oh, Jake is coming over from Blenheim to join us this morning, hopefully. We've got three young guys coming. Bloody rainy outside. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Breakfast. There are three of those suckers today. Bloody cold. Got dogs in the truck. I'm on the road. So we got in the back, uh, I've decided your name Balls, we gave him the nickname Balls, yeah. but it doesn't quite sit mate, we can do better than that eh? Yeah, probably. But we can, well knowing how you're a tough wee character and a survivor, we need something that relates to that. We got Knuckles and we got our, our man Smash, but uh, Dan's uh, Superman. You're Superman. Yeah, Superman. <laughs> doesn't quite suit bro, but... Um, it doesn't suit a pick on top. Doesn't fit the cut. <laughs> Jake uh, got a bit lost. We're meeting up with Jake. He's outside Wymere Old Boys instead of instead of the Wymere camping ground, which I said. He got a bit confused, but we'll find him. So we're on the road. So we got uh, young Jake, who's just driven from Picton. How you going? Yeah. Keen man. Been up since 3:30. So the status is that Jake's come over from Picton. He's got two dogs. Got a boy yesterday. It was a hundred. Yeah. Nice yep. looking pig, eh? Yeah, it's pretty teethy, eh? Shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I looked at that and I went, oh fuck, we didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> Just shouted the boys all breakfast because they haven't had any. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Clay. You. Thank you. And uh, these guys have been living in a tent yesterday and. It's last night I slept in the car. Were you warm last night I slept in the car last night? Yeah. Oh, slightly. It was warm within the tent. Because he didn't leave the car door open. <laughs> Yeah, tent boy. <laughs> As in the middle of winter, and he's got no sleeping bag, he's only got a couple of blankets yesterday. And I said to him, Were you cold? He goes, Yeah, yeah. That Pretty explains. <laughs> Is that why you leave the door open all the time? Because you were born in a tent. Yeah. Oh, actually, I slept in a tent for like three and a half weeks, and it was harder, and that was real warm, so we always used to have to leave the tent. Jeez, man, he's doing it tough. You know, when I was 15, I used to live under the model way for bridge, and it was fucking cold too, so. And it was yeah, Living the hard life. We'll tear it. Jake's experiencing the amount of hunters we have in the forestry here. Might be a bit different to your hunting uh, in Blenheim where we constantly run into hunters in the bush. Yeah. Do you run to that many over in Blenheim? Uh, not, uh, no, not really. Not like this, eh? Yeah. This is the norm, bro. <laughs> yeah, you got to get used to it. What did he say to you? Oh, he just said he's going um, around the road. He's going to keep him in and go around the oh, road. Oh, we'll keep, keep ours out then, eh? Yeah. Okay. That ear's bleeding a bit, isn't it? Just, yeah, a, just, just right on the Just on the nip. She seems okay. Looks worse than it is. Yeah. Dogs on a pig up in here. <laughs> just, just broken, guys. Just wait there. Just keep your noise down. Shh, shh, shh. Come bro, run 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 Got it, got it <laughs> You keep up with him Smash you stay with him, bud. You stay with him. Go smash! Go, 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 go! Go smash! Come on, push in, mate. Push in, dig in. Fuck. <laughs> 
Given young Smash my GoPro camera and hope he gets some footage, but as it turned out, I actually got there before him. So all I had was my handheld camera. I had to put this down as the dogs got closer to the pig and deal with the situation. Hold him. Good dogs. Good girl. Come here, girl. Here you go. Good dogs. Someone over there. Yeah, it's one of the dogs. No, there's two other dogs as well. They came with me. Yeah. What a jungle, man. Yeah, it's hard yakky going through that shit, eh? Oh, what a jungle. What happened to you boys? <laughs> you oh, yeah. went through that thick shit, didn't you? Yeah, it's a wee bit too premature going up. Yeah. That pig was still moving the whole way. I wasn't stopped, eh? Poe had it by himself, and then when the other dogs got there, it broke. Yeah. It's only a small pig. Wow. Maybe 50 pounder, but good eater. Yeah. Where's our young fella gone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, who's is that dog? I don't know. That wasn't even on it when I got here. Me down. I followed you down. Roller. So, it's a good eating, sir. As per usual, someone else's dog has just turned up now. This, they're going to be scrapping in a minute. Lola. Lola, come in. It was hard you could get into it. Yeah. Oh, fucking... Pick him up. The easiest way to get this guy down here is just like that. Sweet. Perfect one, then. Okay, young fella, it was your first pig, but you didn't get there. What happened? Nah, I tripped over a bit of thorn and smashed my head in a tree. You smashed your head on a tree? Yeah. You've been in the wars this, this hunt, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Gotta try and keep up with old granddad. Mm. <laughs> hey, but you get the luck of carrying it out, and it's yep. not a big pig, it's only probably 50 at the most, yeah. so put it across your shoulders, you'll be sweet. You don't get blood in that cool hair, do I? Because the no. girls won't like that. Not too heavy? No, it's your book. What? All right on your back? Yeah, it's all right. Not too heavy. Not too heavy? Awesome. Figured out where the folks are, eh? Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, mate, way to go. Right, let's get these dogs in. This dog's up there on another pig, it's not ours. So we'll put Lola yours in up. here. Lola up, tiger up. Well, that's a good result because we're just listening up here and these guys have got how big do you reckon it was, Jake? Listen to it. About the same size as ours? Yeah, I don't know. Eh? It's hard it's to tell, isn't it? It's bailed, so... Yeah, you've got to be a good pig. Yeah, it's, it's good, yeah. But uh, it was barking and we were going to go up there because we couldn't hear any hunters on. We thought we'll just leave our dogs behind and at least contain the pig and just hear voices so they've got it. So, good result for us and the other hunters. Yeah, pig eats. Yeah. Happy days. I don't want to stop. I want to keep hunting. You want to keep hunting? Right, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, it's there. Time to celebrate with what he's got this time. Starbursts. Right, crank them open, mate. They're in little wrappers. It's a bit, bit, bit posh. I'm still shaking from the adrenaline. Oh, yum. Thank you. Got this uh, hawk flying right in front of us. Let's see to the lads where there's a hawk, there's pork. It's carrying the spirit away of the pig we just slayed. Look at it up there, right in front of us the whole way, man. It's been driving in front of the truck for a long time now, eh? 
it could be looking at the pig on the top of the truck and going, oh, how can I get that? It's probably more likely to be doing that. He's just staying in front of us the whole time. Actually, he'll be looking for the guts. That's what he's doing. Yep. He's heard the squeal. He's going, there's guts around here somewhere. Yeah, the hunters have just come out. There's their dog on the road down there. There's four dogs down there. Listen up. There's two places you can stick a pig. The common place is here, and it's right down here. I haven't stuck this pig here, I've just cut the throat out. Mm. So it's not in there, it's not here, it's not there, yes. it's not up there, it's about there. Yep. And your angle you're going in is a 45 degree angle. Okay? You know what 45 degrees? If you go in 45, you'll smack straight through the heart. It's not up that way, and it's not that way, it's 45 degrees. You put it in, she's dead pig. The other place, if it's a really big pig and you cannot flip it, like you flip that pig, because you'll flip it to get in there, is the side in here. So you're coming in here, and again, it's a 45 degree angle. I'm not going to mark this, because that's good meat. But you go straight in there, and when you're in there, what you can do is you can go up a little bit high, and you can, once you're in, you can slice down. That'll mm -hmm. sever the arteries. Yep. Okay. Really important to hold this tight. Yep. Don't hold it. You don't it. hold it tight, what can happen is you slide off, and you'll cut your tendons. If you do that, your hands buggered, your fingers are buggered. Yep. Tell them the one thing you have to do. What's it, mate? Secure the pig. Thank you. He just said something really, really yeah. important then. Make sure you secure the pig before pulling your knife out. Mm -hmm. Told me that yesterday as well. Yep. So this stays on your hip until you've got the pig in that position there and it's contained. That means the dog's are contained as well. Last week, Dan cut his hand. Not his fault. The other guy had the knife out before the pig was contained and he got his hand cut on the other guy's knife. So it can happen to experienced hunters. Always contain the pig before this comes out. Thanks for remembering that. Good man. You're doing well, boy. I'm impressed. You're going up up and up and up the ladder all the time. Okay. You get all that? Sweet ass. Let's go catch your pig. Not big time. Cha cha. It was two months ago Smash joined us and he weighed 73 kg. Yeah. That was two months ago. Now he weighs 80 kg. By Christmas time, you're going to be the hungry boy. He's only 30, 13? Yeah, 13. 13, he's 80 kg. Just getting bigger and bigger. Are you fit though? Hopefully. You were struggling on that pig this morning, weren't you? Yeah. I haven't been training for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I think we're going to get him a bit fitter. This will get you fit. Yeah, well. It's the best training, eh, pig hunting? So, he's going to be a big boy. Gonna get this guy fit too. <laughs> hey. Yeah. The plan is I'm gonna put two dogs down into this gully. I'm gonna start at the top, keep an eye on it, and also put the drone up in the air. Got the good bastard on the truck ready to go up. So Cree and Smash are gonna take Poe down on the lead, and hopefully Bob and the other two dogs follow. I'm pretty confident there'll be a pig in this gully here. Keep Bob on the lead. Okay, I'll do that. Cheers. Just reiterate to keep Bob on because he'll be the one that'll bring Poe back of us. Yeah, make sure um, Bob stays on the lead, otherwise, 
he'll bring a pole back to us. She's scenting. Yeah, no, she's scenting. Oh shit, she's heard something. We've got a bow up down the gully. Get down as quick as you can, boy! Run, Gray! <laughs> Knuckles the Smash were containing a young board down in the gully, and while that was all going on, a couple of pigs snuck out. First of all this young one, about a 30, 40 pounder, and then another one, same paint job on it, black and white. Good pig though, probably 100 plus. We couldn't really get our dogs down to it on time, and we don't shoot pigs on the run. These pigs have wondered us, mate. So Jake's hooving it back to the truck to get an extra dog. We've got two more pigs on the hill coming up towards us, and he's flying. Ah, oh, to be young. That's awesome for those boys. Bloody awesome. Who's that wild man down there? Well, that black and white pig snuck out to live another day. <laughs> You're too hot. You're too hot, mate. Gee, Smash. You love all the girls on my channel, mate. We don't want that. Creed, he, he fell down this steep bank bit and landed on his shoulder. Is he alright? Yeah, he said he was okay when he was running. Oh, yeah, adrenaline will do that. And I almost... Came right down then, but. Yeah, mate, she's tough going, but hey, it was a plan that we put into action and top result. Yeah, I said you get a pig down here, eh? Time, Poe went out for one. So who got that? Was it the other dog? Um, Poe did. Poe did, oh yeah. Poe pulled it up. Oh, okay, beauty. <laughs> Stick it over. Oh, you haven't taken the guts out yet? Nah. Oh, you better whip the guts out. No, oh, uh, yeah, get a clear spot down by the creek there. Yeah, I can't remember what dirt the asshole does. Oh, I can even show you. Bring down there. So where did the gorse get you this time? Oh, across there and in there and stuff. Show me your gut. Just there. Not bad, but we yeah. were like that most of the time going through. Going through thick stuff here. Yeah, and crawling under it. You just overheat a bit there, did you? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was real hot. <laughs> and we were um, using the game trails. Oh, yeah. Because those were the easiest and the dogs were on them. Yeah, you did well. Rolling. Okay, so you've already cut this, have you? Yeah. You probably went a wee bit high, but better too high than low. The finger in the arsehole, I see the dogs, they're getting straight down with a knife. Like that. Either side. This is a great knife, a brand new one. Made by a bloke called Simon. And then around. Nice fat pig, innit? Yeah, it is. See old Bob stopped it there with the bloody... Put the acid on it. Let's look at the fat on it. That goes down to its nuts. Let's cut that out. It's pretty tidy. So we can take the guts out now. Do you want to do the guts yourself? You reckon you can do that right? I can pull it out if you make the start. <laughs> no, you've got to do the cut, mate. <laughs> That's good. Now lift up, lift up, lift up, and you'll take the arsehole out. Pull hard. Good boy. Pull it out. Keep going. That's it. Nice. Okay, now cut that bit of dick off that's hanging on there. Good man. Are the heart, heart out of there? I think that was the heart he just pulled. No, I got it now. Let's have a look at that heart. Did he stick it? Yup. He got it? He did. Perfect. Beautiful, mate. Right through the heart. You got it perfect. Yeah. Sure. Right, Give that to Poe. That's for Poe. Eat up, Poe. That's her reward. Yeah. Okay. I'll tidy the rest up. Good job, boys. So what happened was this guy here 
knuckles through testicle at Jake. And then what happened, Jake? Oh, calm as a bitch, eh? Hey? He just got a bit of jizz on his hand. <laughs> to the cause. Not too bad. <laughs> Thanks for the jerky, Ezra. We're gonna have a uh, feast before we take this pig out. Oh, I don't, I, I don't uh, film a lot of hunts because a lot of parents just don't want their kids to be filmed. That's fair enough. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite happy to that too. He made it himself and uh, it's bloody nice, eh? Get your laughing gear on that. Thank you. Right. Just done a pie, son. Just take your time, means like the board. Try to get your back straight if you can. If it's too heavy, we'll put it down lower. Might be better, might be better lower on him, eh? It's not got to be his spine. Yeah, he's got his posture. Yeah, take it, take it off, mate. Not, not good for your back. Wait, you guys pay attention. You'll do the next one. <coughs> Only good uh, dress shoelaces. <laughs> these are for my new shoes, and I'm using them for the pig, aren't they? They came with these. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, they did too. Yeah, I stole them. Yeah, they're your ones, I stole them for pig. Just make a granny knot and uh, make sure the knot goes into the groove. Then you pull it tight under the dew claws. And then just the old. Granny knot on top to make a reef knot. Tie it in there. And then I just uh, make another granny knot this way before I put the hock in so it's ready to go. Put another granny knot on that side. She's good to go. Sweet. It's probably the most comfortable animal to carry out, much more comfortable carrying a deer or a goat or a tar or a chamois. Make sure you've got both in. And make sure they're on both shoulders, get your arms right in there. Put your arm right back. There you go, boy. Right, you can, yeah. Get on your, right. get on your shoulders prop before you stand up. It's got a snout. Here's the harder part. There you go. Good boy. Just go slowly up the hill. And you gotta be strong out in the elements, or you won't last right. long. No, you hey, he's won't good, Jake. Let him go, mate. Get it, suck it up and go. He's gonna get the top by himself on this one. Good job. He's making some steps for you. He goes steps. Use those steers, mate. Yeah, let's slide. Good boy. Coordinate yourself. Lean forward. Suck it up. Push hard. Yep. 
push hard, you might have to go on your foot or hands and knees if you can't, but you've got to get up there. Use those steps, this a weight. Good boy. Nice. Lean forward, keep your weight forward. Good man. Keep your weight forward. Good boy, keep your weight forward, that's good. All the way. Push in, stay coordinated. That's good, you haven't fallen over yet. Oh, nearly. Still going. Keep working, bro. Good boy. Don't worry, Jake and me are feeling your pain, eh? <laughs> We've been there before. <laughs> That's the first, first level. That's the first terrace, well done. How was that? Good. Bit hard? Tough, yeah. Tough. Well, picking is tough. Yeah. Jump off. Perfect size pig for you, mate. You wouldn't want it any bigger, would you? Nope. You can do it. One, two, three. Good boy. Push hard, push hard, push hard. Keep going, don't stop. Keep your momentum going. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Keep going, stay on your feet. Coordinate, stay on your feet. Breathe in. Right. He's down. You alright? Yeah, I've got the pig, mate. You're right. You're nearly at the top, boy. 20 metres to go, mate. Not long to go. You're going well, mate. You're gonna get hit, boys. And you gotta be strong. Lift your head up, son. Out in the elements. Or you won't last long. Lift your head up, boy. No, you won't last long. Keep going. Last part's over. Hard spots over. That's it. Just keep an eye on the ball. He's all hands and knees stuff now. You're on your own last bit, boy. Do again. Take deep breaths. Beat that engine with oxygen. Take deep breaths. Go, go, go. Dig in. Coordinate, dig in. It's challenging, isn't it? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. And he's tough. I think we've got a new nickname for him, boys. Tough. Awesome. At the top. Awesome. Give that guy a hand, boys. Fucking good shit. Well, yeah. Well done. That's a hard carry for, for tough. That's his new name. Because you dug in and you kept on going. I'm really proud of you. That's your new nickname, tough. People ever call you anything less? Just remember the time you carried that up the hill and made it all the way. Yeah. Without giving up. Good shit, eh? It's pretty hard, though, isn't it? Yeah. You don't know how tough you are until you really have to dig in, do you? Yeah. You wouldn't have done it by yourself, do you reckon? You would have given up? Yeah, I would have. So your mate's just telling you to keep on going as a key. Good boy. We'll, we'll put on the tailgate. Just lay it down there. Lay it down, boy. You alright? Yep. Sweet. Brand new boots come from one of our real good bastards in the Good Bastards Club. Real big thank you to all you guys that have contributed to these boys and made uh, their hunting life happen. It's been a concerted effort by everybody, not just me. By those that have funded the trips and put them in the right gear. Thank you very much. It's a good thing you're doing. Feel good? Yep. They smell a bit right. These are the ones that Chad gave for knuckles but they are a bit bugger now but they've done their job how they feel very comfy fuck mate you look more like a pig under every time i look at you <laughs> do they feel all right go for a walk go for a run tell me how they feel don't trip over they'll be a bit stiff he's a happy boy they look good boy they look cool eh real comfy yeah mate they'll save your ankles 
Best butcher you've ever had? Yep. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jason Grant, for those boots. Thanks, man. Yeah, awesome. I'd like to thank Tim X. He's called X because he wants to remain anonymous. Anonymous. A, can you say anonymous? Anonymous. Good oh boy. I also want to thank Jake, who was a good bass today and helped these young guys uh, with a top result. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was it was awesome. It was bloody awesome. Rough bush passing through the yeah. course. Right, well we'll okay. get going. Good luck with your own hunting. Be good. And if you can't be good, be, be careful. careful. See you later. Let's get home. That's it.